everyone welcome back to my channel Melanie here and of course my toddler's little feet right there hanging out with me um, today I wanted to do a quick little video comparison of the Louis Vuitton palace clutch and the pouch that comes in a never full GM or MM and showing you what fits in both of them and how I pack them okay so let's get started Okay, let's go ahead and get started on the palace clutch. And I will say when I use either the palace clutch or my little pouch for my Neverfull, I'm using it because I'm either scaling way down or um, running errands, going on a date night, something like that, girls night out. It's when I don't really need a whole bunch of things. So, okay, we'll go ahead and get started with this. Okay, so here's what it looks like on the inside. Start with right here in this little slip pocket. I like to keep a card case with some cards and I have a little bit of cash in there. So I'd like to put that in this little slip pocket right here, just like that. And then I have some mints down in there, a compact perfume roller, lip products, lip gloss, and my key pouch. So when I'm using these things, this bag right here, these are the things that I really need, and um, I don't really need anything else in here. You can fit probably a little bit more in here, but I don't like to overstuff my bags and misshape them. So that is what I generally keep on the inside of this bag. And then one of the things that I absolutely love about this bag is this front pocket right here. I fit my phone in there, and here is the case for size reference. I now have a Samsung S10. And this is the case for you. Here's a burger case. If you guys haven't tried these, they're wonderful. But um, for size reference, I have the case, and that slips right down in there. And you, I'm pretty sure a plus would fit in there as well. And if you're wondering if you can fit a mini pushette down here, technically, yes, you can. But I find it pretty pointless because it takes up the whole bag. So I just keep it out of there and put the little things that I'm going to need in here. I went ahead and repacked it, and I wanted to show you if you don't have a card case and you have a small wallet, how that fits in there. It fits nicely. This is the Zoe wallet, and it fits just right down in there. It zips up nicely with my phone still in there, not misshapen or anything like that. And if you do have a wallet and want to stick something else in there, something small, like here in this little slip pocket, here is the card case again. Stick that down in there. That still closes up. It's a little little warpy and I wouldn't do that but it still fits so if you wanted to add more things in there okay so moving on to the never full pouch I will put the same exact items that I had in the palace clutch in here starting with my card case then I like to put my key pouch with my keys down in there lip gloss and a perfume roller then I'll slip my phone compact some mints and that all zips up nicely, just like that. It's not misshapen too badly or anything like that. I think it fits nice. So yeah, both can hold, you know, pretty much the same amount of things. Of course, this is going to hold a little bit more because if I did put anything else in this, it would really start to warp and get misshapen, which I don't like. So, but if you just need some essentials, I just wanted to show you the differences in what the two can carry. Um, next, I'll show you how the Zoe wallet fits in here or a small compact wallet will fit in here um, as opposed to in here. So if I was going to put a small compact wallet in here, I would have to scale down a bit. And um, here's the Zoe wallet. Any small compact wallet will work, though. So I would stick this down in there. Then I'll put my phone in there next. Key pouch. Lip product and perfume. And then I would stick my mints right on top. And that zips nicely. The only thing I left out is a compact. So I think, we'll see if I can even put the compact in here. But for me, that would just be overkill. Yeah, it's, let's see, rearrange some things. No, that's not going to even zip comfortably. That would just warp my bag, and I would not like that at all. So I wouldn't suggest putting anything else in there. Once again, here's everything that I had in both of the bags. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful in comparing the two. And as always, please feel free to click like and click subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.